A pot is a living thing. Its associations are markedly human. We talk of the foot, the belly, the shoulder, the neck and the lip, and we intuitively feel a good pot's honesty, strength, nobility, warmth, delicacy or charm, much as we do with people. Pottery is also an ancient form of abstract art, and as such we give attention to its formal relationships as we do with music and architecture. If in addition one yields a receptive mind to its material clay and to the quality of its use, to its decor, and to the natural melting and transformation of glazes in the kiln, it is possible for most people to discover the presence or absence of such human virtues in the pot itself. One false touch anywhere along the line and expression is lost. But sometimes one can speak of a wet, newly thrown pot in which every movement is like frozen music. For a few moments perfectly through the hands of a potter. And say with the old Chinese sage, the wise man is he who in his maturity can make natural use of the gifts with which he was born. This may sound as if a lump of clay on a spinning wheel is inert. Believe me, it is not. It has a will of its own, and its desire is to escape with centrifugal force anywhere, unless it is kept to the still center.